Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Wilson Club Gaming. I'm Trent. I'm Captain Pirate Man. I'm Jimmy. And we're back with more Super Mario 3D All Stars. Let's begin the adventure today. Bro, you take <laughs> like right on the edge of the couch. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's like we're all just like thank you. We're all about closeness here, okay? We, we we're all, all friends here. Yeah, why not? We all love each other. Mario. It's me, Mario. <laughs> Hello. Hello. And this is the entire episode. Just, <laughs> no, just kidding. Just us. Uh, playing with it, playing this dumb cardboard face. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Uh, last time I think you unlocked the uh, the wing cap special stage. Oh, okay. I, yeah, unlocked the wing cap. Well, he unlocked the stage to unlock it. Oh, okay. I see. What you're I think he kept. I remember Jim kept dying at uh, Womp's Fortress over and over again. Yep. Yeah. So much so that I labeled that episode that it was his worst enemy. Yeah. That that we played Smash Bros, which that ended up being the whole thing. So clearly, I need to go back to Wants Fortress and get redemption, <laughs> conquer the demons. Oh. So we're we gonna do like a Mario Odyssey. Uh, oh, Whoa! Okay. Oh, 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 already, already, already. <laughs> begins. This 3D All Stars, you know, we patched all the glitches. Imagine your only point in life is to pop out of a wall. <laughs> I know. It's kind of sad they have eyes. Yeah. They're not even yeah, like. This is my redemption right they're here. They're just like. Um, Non-textured, non-polygonalized. They don't even like interact or anything. <laughs> They're just constantly staring in ceaseless agony. Yeah. Uh, do you say you want to do Mario Odyssey in the future? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that'd, yeah, be, that'd, fun. that'd be fun. That'd be fun. I, I don't know. Part of, part of me is like a stickler for like going in chronological order, which is why we're doing gal like we're doing the 3D pack, which is like all the the first three Mar 3D Mario's and like order and everything. Is there, like, story-wise, are they chronic lot? Oh my gosh. Is there, like, an order to them? And I mean, I get... Story-wise, or are they just kind of... Eh? It's just... I mean, kind of, I guess? I don't know. Because, like, Sunshine, uh, which we'll play some of that today, you, in, like, the opening, Mario has, uh... He encounters the, the water pack he uses for the game called Flood. Yeah. And, um... It, it, like, in the bottom corner, it shows, like, past adventures from Mario's games. Yeah. And one of them is, like, a bo Bowser boss fight from this game. Oh, okay. So I think it does take place in the past. And it makes sense, because this is 1996. Right. I'm kind of excited to see how that Mario movie works. With the fish fret and all that. Yeah. I saw, I saw the video of him jokingly doing the voice. Yeah. Which I'm like, I hope it turns out good, though. Yeah. Um, like, well, it can't be any worse than the live-action movie. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> oh. But it, the the, the live-action one's so bad, it's good. You know? It's just one of those movies. Uh, it, it made no sense, though, because, like, Princess Daisy was hatched from an egg. I mean, yeah. Like, it's that weird mean? that they did Daisy instead of Peach, so it's like Luigi got some of the pie this time. Yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> Luigi was voiced by Sid. <laughs> What? The guy that plays Sid the Sloth. Played John Leguizamo? Yeah, he played the Ouija. Yeah. It was like... Isn't it Charlie Day? Uh, Charlie Day's playing him in the new one. Yeah. Oh, okay. John Leguizamo, who uh, recently voiced Bruno in Disney's Encanto, which I, I, I wouldn't know. I've not I've not seen the movie yet. I've seen it, yeah. I'd like to see it. It actually looks pretty good. Yeah. It I was okay. I'm not a huge like musical for person, so... Yeah. Well, to me, all the, all the Disney main female leads are starting to run together. I might have gone over this in a previous episode, but they're all just kind of like quirky dorks, you know? They're all just kind of yeah. like socially awkward, bubbly characters. And it's like, I don't even think they explain why the, the main one and the new one doesn't have... Yeah, thank you thank you for that. Interrupting the story. Uh, sorry, I'm just I'm being, being a jerk. They didn't, I don't think they even explain why uh, the main person doesn't have a power. I think you got already that. They <laughs> kind of did in the movie. They did? Yeah, they did. Okay. Well, actually, yes and no. I, they didn't... Okay, they didn't explain it, why she didn't get power. She, they just dang. showed her not getting the power. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going here. I think... It says shoot into the wild blue, right? Yeah. I think the stone we have to, like, shoot in, like, the corners of the walls right here. Okay. Because they... Yeah, I think they break... You wouldn't know that, though. It just says shoot into the wild blue. You're, you're like, completely guessing as to what to do. But I think this is the one where you shoot into the walls with the cannon. But, uh... Um... Okay, I'll try that. I think it's yeah. this one, I Without, use. like, I don't want to spoil anything, otherwise I would explain it a little bit more. <laughs> mm. About the... I don't, I don't care. So, yeah. So, like, okay. Like I said, they didn't explain why she didn't get powers. They just showed it. So, every kid when they're... I forget how old they are. They're young, though. Uh, 
they get a door in this magical house and they each get their own abilities at this certain age. Yeah. Uh, and the whole, like, source of their powers and everything is, like, a magic candle that stays lit forever. Mm-hmm. Um, so they touch the candle and then they touch the door that magically appeared on the day that they're supposed to get powers. So it's been a tradition for everyone and that's how everyone got powers. However, when... I forget her name. I think Mirabelle. Mar- Mirabelle, yeah, Mirabelle. So Mirabelle, she touched the candle, and then she went to touch her door to like get her powers. But as she touched her door, the door just faded away, it just sizzled out, like, and didn't give her anything. Well, th- did they do they explain why the door did that or something? It's like, I feel I'd feel kind of ripped off if that were the case. No, they that they didn't explain. They I think just, you gotta. Shoot back. I think the star's there now, so I think you gotta shoot back up. Yeah, they didn't explain that, which was kind of Or you could go up there and, like, jump, but I feel like... They didn't explain that, which was kind of weird, but... Yeah. What is up with Disney, like, introducing magical powers and just, like, not kind of... Uh, like, they just never... They don't explain the origin of the powers at all. It's like, like, what, like, the rules... I assume they explain, like... Oh, the candle gives them magic. Oh, no. oh that's no. Oh, <laughs> well, at least I know how to, what to do now. And Jim's first enemy <laughs> strikes again. <laughs> but, like, remember when Frozen came, first came out and they had to explain all the power stuff in the sequel? <clears throat> I, I, the... I didn't watch the sequel, so... <laughs> I mean, I, I, to be fair, I didn't either. Because, like, I saw the trailer, I'm like, why are they taking it way too seriously? This looks stupid. Yeah. But, um, they explained, like, her, the origin of her powers and stuff. And I'm like, wouldn't they, shouldn't they have done that in the first movie? Yeah. Although... I guess not really, because if you look at the new, like, MCU Spider-Man, they kind of, like, his whole origin story is, like, throughout three different movies, so. Well, it, it, well it's different, you know, because, like, we already know Spider-Man's origin, right? Yeah, I guess. And, like, this new one, I don't want to spoil anything for No Way Home, because, like, uh, but, you know, they, 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 you know, they had one character replace another character in terms of the mythos, and I think you know what I'm talking about. Another character says a certain line. Oh, okay. But... I don't really know what you're talking about. You'll just have to I'll explain it after. after yeah, because I don't want to. I don't want to stop. Just, yeah. I don't know if Jim's seen it either. Oh, what are we talking about now? Uh, we're talking about No Way Home. I don't know if you've seen the movie or not. No, I don't think so. Oh, dude, you're missing out. It's, it's such a good movie. It's it was, just like yeah, it was it's full of nostalgia movie. and fan service, but I don't care. It's still I still love it. Well, now that they have the movie, because you know they brought Doc Ock and Green Goblin in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, okay, no. Oh, you, seen you've it. seen it? Yeah. Okay. I'm just, like, trying to focus on the game. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fair. Well, now that they have, like... That they had, like, brought previous characters back, mm-hmm. that opens a possibility of them doing it again. I hope so. Oh, I think there's a rumor that Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness is going to do something like that. Yeah. Oh, that was a different star. Okay, I think... I saw a star that was, like, I... by the pole. Yeah, I saw that, too. I think you got to shoot to the pole and get the star. So I think that was the shooting to Wild Blue one. But we got that... Where's King? We're the king of like getting the last star in a yeah. place before we get the others. Um, um, but Multiverse of Madness, I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I am too. Like specifically because Sam Raimi's directing, and he directed he directed the first three Spider-Man movies as well as The Evil Dead and um, Drag Me to Hell, which is a really good one. Yeah. Um, I heard that's supposedly supposed to be a horror-ish movie. I hope so, because that that plays the Sam Raimi strengths. Yeah. But, and plus, it's such a cool name for a movie, because uh, I, I mean. Yeah, well, Bo and I, we named our podcast off after that. Yeah. The Trend Bo's Multiverse of Madness. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I think oh, this is going to be an awkward one to get. And I heard, I don't know, where I forgot where I heard it. I heard that Scarlet Witch is going to be kind of a villain in that one, rather than a hero. What? Well, there's a trailer out for it. And I was like, that was one of the, Even though I liked the trailer, it was a bit of a disappointment that it was like kind of... It was a post credit scene for No Way Home. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. That's not really a spoiler. It's a trailer and that's been released. So, yeah. But, like, it's the post credit scene for No Way Home, which kind of... Honestly, it's not really a spoiler. You're just saving people time. So. Yeah. Because <laughs> you go through all those credits and it's like, oh, trailer. Yeah. Like, okay. Mm-hmm. But I watched uh, film theory on it. And they were, he was pointing out... Uh, cause did you watch WandaVision? Yeah, I did. So you remember how Agatha... Oh, uh, it, 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 I'm, I'm probably not going to see it. Oh, no. I, this isn't really... But you remember how, like, Agatha 
when she cast spells, she used like dark magic, so her fingertips were all black and stuff like that. What's that supposed to mean, John? No. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. Anyways, but so whenever. Nice. She, so whenever nice. she's. <laughs> nice. Get up there. There we go. There we Yay. go. No. Um, so whenever she used like dark magic, her fingertips were black. Mm -hmm. While I was watching Film Theory, and he pointed out that in the Multiverse of Madness trailer, when Wanda was like in that room kind of hovering, casting her spell or something, you could see her fingertips are turning black too. Ooh. So she's using dark magic now. I hope she's the villain, because like, they made it seem like in the trailer that she was going to help Doctor Strange. And that the the What If Strange, I assume it's What If Strange, because it yeah, looks like him. What If. But uh, they made it look like he was going to be the bad guy, along with Bear Mordo, but mm -hmm. I've been waiting for so long for, Dark for Scarlet Witch to be uh, the villain. Yeah. I was hoping she'd be the villain of uh, WandaVision. If you walked off the platform, I would have laughed at you. <laughs> it looked very cool. You were about to moonwalk up. The oh. I just got to get some tension in there. <laughs> tension. Keep the audience engaged. On the, I'm on like, the surely, he, surely not. <laughs> surely not. Just like he said about the Smash Max. <laughs> surely they won't. Surely they won't. <laughs> Although I had I had a lot of fun censoring that. Uh, the custom section is quite funny. No, I, I, I get it, because he's an owl. He says, ooh. Wow, good job. You figured out the pun. Yeah. Well, I am the pun master. I mean, what? What? Did you say I'm not the Maybe. pun master? Wow. <laughs> Some friend you are. I feel like the red coins are kind of an afterthought. Like, they're like, every level's gonna have red coin missions. Uh, okay. Um, how about this? We're not really creative with the placement, but they're like, all bunched next to each other. It's perfect. Sh ship, ship the game. Ship it. <laughs> um, it reminds me of a John Tron joke. He was like, reviewing, uh, the Charlie's Angels game. Mm -hmm. And, uh, he was commenting on how, uh, one of the voice clips sounded like the, the person had read it for the first time ever. Yeah. And he was like, uh... He was acting like air, and he was like, "Okay, that that sounded good. How about we just do like one more take of the line?" And I'm like, "Nah, it's fine. We already shipped the game." <laughs> Which I'm like, "Sounds about right." I think I saw that. Yeah, <laughs> that, that game's pretty well, interesting. Did you squish? Kind of looked a little weird. Yeah. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, there, there it is again. I I didn't know you could do that. I always thought you just get crushed. I kicked that board down. Oh okay. Like, okay. There he goes. <laughs> Boom! You got like I think you got jump kick it. There you go. Get enough force behind it. This game does not hold your hand. I kind of like that. Yeah. Later games definitely point you in the direction of what you're supposed to be doing. But like this one's like, here's like a vague hint. To go. Seven. All right. Where's? Now we gotta find. Determined not to choke. All right. I think. It might be down there. You were saying. <laughs> I'm turning up the choke. No, that was all I was gonna say. Where's the eighth one? Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Do you see the eighth red coin? Where? Where? <laughs> there is a theory. I don't know how people come up with these things. That door is actually blind. That and monk and boots is her <laughs> guide monkey. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. Cause she's got the going around. Do you see whatever? Even though it's like right in front of her. Yeah. Well, it's like I, I assume that that same theory has to apply to Steve from Blue's Clues, cause he can never find a clue. Right. That Blue's his guide dog and everything. Literally any children's show, to be honest. Yeah. But not like blind. They're like completely blind, but just to where it's hard for her to see things. Yeah. So. Wow. <laughs> I just want this last coin. Come on. Try long jumping. Maybe long jump up that slope over there. Maybe. Or something. <laughs> so, um. When do, I was heading do, over do, here, do, do, that video do. I was working on. Yeah. Please. I had started my, uh, monitors for, like, my FNAF office. Yeah. Uh, just the base. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Jim. <laughs> Just the base of the monitor yeah. is going to take 23 hours. That's quite a while. Yeah. And it's just one printer. Just wow. the base. Just the I one. still got the monitor, like the screen. To oh, yeah! <laughs> Alright. Man, this, this stage is just like, it catches you on your bad day. This game is just 
way different than the others. It's, like, hard for me to, like, control yeah. with it. I think, yeah, the awkward controls definitely help. But it's, like, I feel like this is Jeff definitely harder than, like, future games. Although Sunshine does give it a run for its money with how unfair it can be sometimes. Like, most of the time the game's fine, but then it just, like, wallops you with, like, the... Some of the levels is just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, the pinball level. I, oh, the pachinko. I remember, uh... My brother was on that level. He literally died like forty times there. It was I can, crazy. I got it. The first time I played that level, I didn't have any problem getting through it. I actually got it in like the first try. But like, I recently tried replaying it. Like when I got 3D All Stars for the first time, uh, no, I was not a happy camper. Hmm. <laughs> a lot of swearing. <laughs> oh jeez. Sorry. It was like. Yeah. Do you remember the um, that creepy pasta that was going around of like the the specters that were in the. Hot and cold galaxy that was in that game. That, yeah, that wasn't even like creepy pasta. That was like an actual thing that was in the game. Yeah, there were like two D textures of these aliens just watching you the whole time. Yeah. Those are so interesting though. Like those uh, little creepy uh, Easter eggs found in like video games. Mm -hmm. I like enjoy watching those so much. They're they, pretty cool. They're pretty cool to watch. Yeah. I see you're not going for the uh, the wind cap stage just yet. Yeah, I'll, I'll save for later. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're back. Sacrifice. <laughs> Sacrifice. <laughs> oh, man. I was watching that. I was watching that back. I'm like, we were terrible people for doing it. <laughs> and yet, we just did it again. So. Yeah. Uh, what's the what's the mission objective for this one? It said Frosty Slice for eight coins. Oh, we gotta get the red coins for this one, then. Wait, if you drop it in the chimney, will it go down? It's possible. Merry Cri oh. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. The, ping the penguin that's in there, yeah. <laughs> Big penguin one, I'll look after you. No, he's not in here. That's Dang. Good. I wonder what would happen if you grabbed it and then fell with do, do, it. Do, 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 do. Oh, we're racing this guy again. Oh, it said frosty slide, so I was like, let me try it. I think... I don't think they're on this slide. I think they might be on the slide like that's in the level. Whoa! Dude. What? What? Yeah, there's a, what that? Th there's a secret shortcut there, but like, you took like the absolute speed run way of doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen something that impressive. I can't even do that. I get that shortcut, really? but I always forget to... What is this? What? Where, what am, I? Where am I? You're on top I've of the... If you drop down, I think it's like... There, there's the exit. I win. You. What do you mean you, you win? Bro. You definitely won that. <laughs> okay. Maybe because you didn't drop down in time. Uh, whatever. I still got a star, so... so... I was going to flip the bird, but no one could see it. I was gonna flip the bird at the bird, and like, let's also. Let's I'm trying to keep it <laughs> family friendly. Well, like, I was, I was just making fun of the penguin, I'm sorry. If we had a face cam, probably they would We'll never do it, but we'll. We, you would have seen me. Yeah, it would have been funny. Out. Yeah, have you ever accidentally, like, accidentally drowned in this game? Whoa. There's that the, was something. Yeah. Advanced hardware? What are you talking about? <laughs> this is a non Nintendo Switch. What are you doing this guy? Have you ever accidentally drowned in like any of these levels in Mario 64? Because uh, the drowning animation from Mario Dies, it is horrific. Oh no. I don't know what I want. I don't want to find out. Yeah, so... Yeah. Get, get, get your, catch your breath and get some coins, because it's, it's terrifying. <laughs> I'm, just like, I'm like, this is a game made for kids! They're gonna be like, I killed Mario! <laughs> Don't rock the boat. Oh, whoa. Okay. I think in future we need to do like a try not to laugh as well. That'd be pretty funny. That'd be good. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be something. Yeah, we'll get the face games on. What? Yeah. I think, yeah, you gotta unlock them in like a certain pattern. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm having deja vu, but I feel like we did this star in a previous episode. We didn't. No, we didn't. We, we didn't. didn't? Go here. Okay. Yeah, we didn't. I thought maybe we did. Yeah, we didn't even film in this level. But all. to pluck the plunder, what order is that, ye say? I'll never tell. John, you can tell me you wrote a note in this game. Yeah. <laughs> do, do, whoop. See, Daisy. Alright. There you go. That was interesting. 
Once you get the pattern figured out, it's like super easy. I was just guessing. Do, 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 do. Here we go. You run the eel. Oh, like that. What? Oh. Wow. <laughs> what happened? I, I I I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at how to. Swim. Oh, hurry! Swim. He's gonna get, he's gonna try to pick her. Get back in there. <laughs> there we go. What happened? I just, I didn't see it. He swam back under. It was he just, just decided to ask for it. <laughs> All right. The, the chests give you air. You just gotta try to open them correctly. Okay. It's just not gonna open. <laughs> Alright, me. Alright. Let's try this one. There we go. There we go. I thought there was like a correct pattern you had to do it in. Or they'd shock you, but maybe I was wrong. Maybe that's the only, like, the other place is the only one. Maybe. And then the water should be draining. Whoop. There we go. There we go, number 16. Man, you're just blazing through this. Yeah. Speed <laughs> Welcome to the last episode of Zoom Mario 64. Or we get the world record speed run. Yeah. Any percentage? Only a couple deaths, you know. Yeah. Just a couple. Mario, come out to play. I love, I love the piano piece. This is like this is like one of my favorite tracks in the whole game is the Jolly Roger Bay. What? Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. Please. Swim. Please. Uh, please. Uh, there we go. You have to make it so far down. Oh, now I have to get him out again. <laughs> yeah, video game. If video games were easy, we wouldn't be playing them. Yeah, it's a challenge. Oh, oh, there we go. Come on, please. Uh oh. Please. Uh oh. Please. I couldn't move. <laughs> Dang, man. That, that Eelers does like crap tons of damage. Go oh. somewhere else. Yeah, now, <laughs> now we scorned you. You just don't want to play anymore. Probably do one more because right. I've been kind of slack in this episode. Do we have Do we have enough for the Bowser stage, or you can do the Bowser stage early? Well, it's one of those. So. There's like three different Bowser stages. Oh, okay. There's one like that's like super easy to begin with. There's like a second one's like slightly harder, and the third one's like the final one where it's like an epic showdown. But they're all they're all the same battle. It's just they they increase in difficulty. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's showdown time. Zoom. You think Bowser would just give up at it after a certain amount of time? Yeah. Well, you think Peach oh, no, would learn no. how to defend herself, you know? Oh no, it's oh, not. No, it's wow. not Peach. <laughs> you think Peach would learn how to defend herself, you know? Yeah. Bowser comes to kidnap her pretty much every other day that ends in Y. Unless he's not actually kidnapping her. Mm. There's something else going on. <laughs> okay. That was a theory for the longest time that. That she was. Huh? That was. Oh, that. Her and Bowser were actually dating, not Mario. Yeah, which is why so, she's like always terrified that whenever she, he comes around. And yeah. She also didn't want to marry him in Mario Odyssey. Which can I talk about how disappointing the ending to Odyssey was? The fact that she turned down not only Bowser but Mario as well. Yeah, my man Mario. I'm like, God. that God man has you. saved you countless of times and proposed to you on the spot, and yet you still tell him no. Does your relationship does your relationship only go as far as you baking him a cake? I'm like, no, I go through eight worlds of torture. I deserve a like a position of power or something. Oh! <laughs> like that. You see, I fall down endless pits and all I get is a cake. <laughs> Screw you, Peach. Mama Mia is right. Even the games where we get to play as Peach, she's not even like she can float for a bit, which is cool, but it's like she's also the slowest character and everything. She's really, she's really good in the Smash Bros. That's though. when Mario just goes to the other. What's it get? A Daisy or a Pauline? Pauline, yeah. Yeah, pa Pauline's cool. She's a, the mayor of her own town. She can sing. She's like, she can hold her own. And when Peach fights, she uses a frying pan and her butt as special moves. So I'm like, and and a toad. She, yeah, and yeah. she uses and her subjects. <laughs> yeah, to defend and an her. Umbrella. Everybody, march! 
Oh my gosh, yes, thank you. Game. The Army Toad. I love, I love Game Grumps. I like their uh, Yoda jokes one. Yeah. That's a classic Yoda yeah. joke. <laughs> what kind of car do I drive? A Toyota. Mm. Funny joke! <laughs> no, I apologize for that terrible Yoda impression. But... Mine was worse. Oh, it's fine. It's no, I can do a good Yoda impression. No. You'd be surprised. Do 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 do. <laughs> That's the song that goes through my head anytime I see Mario Tiptoe or anything. Honestly, when um, in Civil War, I wish to tell Iron Man brought out Black Panther. He's like, I want to introduce the final member of Team Tony. He's like, you know I'm the Black Panther, not the Pink Panther. I know, but the song choice is just too, too. That's bad. something you would do, too. Yeah. I did it. <laughs> I did it. Rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman, by the way. Get in I, wonder there. Who they're, I wonder who they're going to get to replace him. Right. They're not. Well, I mean, it's like... Well, not to replace T'Challa, but like someone to become the new Black Panther. Oh. People are saying either his, um, his sister, or it's gonna be Mbaku, the, the leader of the other tribe. Oh. Who, you know the guy's like, E Bombay, E Bombay. Yeah, I don't think that would match. I think the sister makes more sense. Yeah, so, but like, because the Black Panther is a family thing. I mean, yeah, but like anyone could challenge for it, you know. And like, I love, I love Mbaku. He's like one of my favorite characters. Yeah. E Bombay. I feel like the sister would match a little bit more, though, because she, like, can make most of the technology for it. I guess. Oh, there we go, a little Polly Mario. Have you seen somebody edit, like, this boss fight? Boss? Boss fight? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't know what that is. Anyways, this boss fight. So. Every time Mario made a noise, it was Chris Pratt voice lines. <laughs> Every time Bowser made a noise, it was Jack Black voice lines. I miss the old school. So long, uh, I, th I think he's saying King Bowser, but everyone said it sounded like Gay Bowser. So yeah. long, Gay Bowser. I'm like, wow, we, we didn't only hurt him, but also insult him. Not, I'm not saying that, you know, that... I'm not saying that... Oh, too late, we got cancer. No, I just, I didn't mean, like, that... <laughs> no, I you know what I meant. Too late, we get cancer. Well, like... <laughs> bye bye That sounded like toxic masculinity, because he's trying to get... He's trying to get a princess to, to wet, marry him. There you go. There we go. I'll just bait him next to the bombs. Is that it? Oh, is that it? Oh, he only takes one hit. He's a one-hit chump. Grr. Grr. I was a bit careless. Bah! <laughs> There and now I'm a key. I guess they all snapped. Yeah. yeah. Now we got the key, which means we can go to the basement. I think that's a good way, place to lay, leave off on. All right. Yeah, that's a great stopping point. We beat Bowser. We've got two more boss fights to look forward to in the future. But until next time, everybody. I've been Trent. I've been Kent Pyramid. I'm Jimmy. And we want to thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. <laughs>